Also, you guys, please stick to the very end of this video because I have a super dope deal that I know a lot of you guys don't want to miss. What's going on you guys now welcome back to the King James headquarters and today I'm gonna be giving you guys six super dope must-have film photography accessories ranging from beginner stuff all the way to intermediate and to the most advanced advanced users out there so there's a couple of hacks in here that I've kind of discovered and you know found super useful and I want to share my secrets with you guys in this video so with that being said let's go ahead and jump in to number one Wow black gaffer's tape or electrical tape. Now, for those of you guys who are just starting to shoot film, electrical tape or gaffer's tape is probably one of the most universal and useful things you can have in your film camera arsenal because you can use this stuff for a number of things. First of all, one thing that I like to do with some of this stuff is if you have bad light seals and you wanna go ahead and have a quick fix, take a little bit of this electrical tape or gaffer's tape, throw it over those light seals, tape it up and you will be good to go. It's a quick and simple fix that only takes about 10 to 15 seconds but it'll be able to go ahead and cover your light seal so you don't have any light leaks the next thing that I like to do with this stuff is to go ahead and cover up all of the letterings on my camera if you're traveling a lot or if you're out there shooting some street photography and you want to be discreet and you have a camera that is with the black paint you can put the tape over the name and you can basically walk around with a camera that looks just like a little black box. Now I do this a lot with my X700 or my F3, or I know a lot of people who shoot digital cameras as well, they'll go ahead and cover those more expensive cameras up so that when they're traveling, it's less likely to be stolen. So that's just two of the things that I like to do with electrical tape or gaffer's tape of your choice, it doesn't matter. But as I said, it can be super useful and super universal. So go ahead, pick yourself up a roll of this stuff, it only costs about two to three bucks at any supermarket and be on your way to covering up your light seals or making your cameras more discreet. Number two, the universal camera strap. Now I am not talking about a specific brand of camera strap for God's sakes. This right here is actually a woman's belt. But what I'm talking about is this thing called the universal clip. And this is not a stolen idea or anything. I mean, this has been done for cameras for the longest time, but a lot of people don't seem to know what these are or understand it. And these universal clips right here are just little clips that you get on like lanyards and such, but buy the more heavy duty ones because what you can do is you can take camera straps like this and attach them to the back end of it. And when you have these clips on here, you can pretty much attach them to any camera that you want. And at the end of the day, one camera strap versus 50 camera straps is always gonna be better. It makes things less complicated. So buy these little mini universal clips that you can clip to onto any pretty much any camera. Find yourself a strap, just attach it on just like any kind of key or anything like that. And you're on your way to going ahead and using one strap across all of your cameras. This is what we call the universal camera strap. You can pick it up for about five bucks and it is honestly one of the greatest things that I've ever discovered. I practically use this thing on all my cameras. Nope. Now, have you ever encountered that problem where you have a smudge on your lens or maybe even on a viewfinder screen and you want to clean it off? What do you do? You go for your classic microfiber cloth, but that cloth can have a bunch of dirt on it. And if you don't clean them or switch them out every now and then, you're just rubbing dirt all over your lens. So I highly recommend you guys pick up some of these right here, this, these, this right here. These right here are called the Zeiss lens wipes and you can purchase this from Walmart or Target and you can purchase it online too. Amazon, I believe carries it. I'll leave links all down below. Low. But Zeiss lens wipes are probably the best ways to go ahead and clean your lenses, whether it's your glasses, your freaking camera lenses, whatever it is.
is. You can even clean your phone screens with this stuff. Now they come in tiny little one packs like this and this thing right here. They come in these little packs and they're kind of like wet wipes for your camera. You go ahead and tear it off and they're a little bit moist. They have this distinct smell, but you can go ahead and just really get into your lenses and clean them off that way. Afterwards, you're going to notice your lens has a new glare to it. And overall, it just really, really gets all of that dirt and smudge out of that lens. So I highly recommend you guys pick some of this stuff. Super cheap, super inexpensive. These are called the Zeiss lens wipes. And honestly, probably the best thing on this list. Number four, the rocket blower. Alrighty folks, for those of you guys who've never seen this before, this is what we call a rocket blower. And basically what it is, it's just a little pump that releases air through the little tip over here. Now this tool is absolutely one of the most universal things you can have if you're a film photographer because of one little mighty enemy we call dust. Now you guys know dust is everywhere and with antiques cameras, antiques, antique cameras, they just go hand in hand, you know what I mean? Old stuff are gonna be more dusty. But if you have this, it'll pretty much solve all of your problems. So folks, here are a couple of ways I can utilize the rocket blower. Number one, I'll go ahead and use the rocket blower to just dust off my film strips when I'm scanning film. That's probably the biggest thing because you don't wanna have dust on there. Just hit it with a couple blows with the rocket blower and you'll be good to go. The second thing that I'll do is when I take cameras like this, I can just go ahead and clean them off if they've been sitting on the shelf. Give it a couple of bursts with the rocket blower and I am good to go. Last but not least, one of the most important things to do. When you take your lens off of your camera, sometimes in the viewfinder when you look through, there's gonna be little dust spots. How do you take that out? You don't want to put your fingers in there and maybe mess up the focusing screen. Easiest way is to grab your rocket blower, insert it into here, and just start blowing all that dust out. You're going to see it fly out. And that's honestly one of the best ways to clean inside of the viewfinder. Never ever try to go ahead and put your fingers in there and, you know, just mess around with it. You might go ahead and break your camera. So folks, I highly recommend you guys pick up one of these rocket blowers. I'll drop a link in the description below for you guys to go ahead and purchase the one that I use. And like I said, you can pick this up for fairly cheap. And it's one of the best, absolutely best and versatile things you can have if you are a film photographer. So folks, check out the rocket blower. It'll save you a ton of money and time when you're going ahead and scan film, dust stuff off. It's just amazing. Let's just end it at that. <laughs> Number five, film archival sleeves, bam. Now these are film archival sleeves and basically what they do is they'll go ahead and hold all of your film in one little sheet. Now there's tons of different companies to go with. You know, you can get the generic ones. It really doesn't matter. The company that I get mine from is called Print File and you can find this stuff on eBay or Amazon for pretty cheap. And it's kind of like, if you've ever has ever collected like Yu-Gi-Oh cards or like baseball cards or whatever, and you have those little sleeves that you insert into binders, kind of the same thing, but here you're storing your negatives. Now, for those of you guys who shoot film and you get your film developed at labs sometimes they'll send your film back in those little sleeves already but they're not archival sleeves and in that case I highly recommend you guys pick these up because one of the benefits of shooting film is that you have a physical copy of an image it's not a digital file unless it's a scan right but you have that actual tangible piece of photograph in your hand and ready to go and at any time in your lifetime you can grab that film strip and just rescan it to go ahead and get yourself another digital file so you know a good way to archive all of your stuff is to grab these little film archival sleeves and they will save you a ton of time when searching for you know different images they will also help you organize by date by film roll by camera you know at the top you can write the information up there and it's just a great way to go ahead and store all of your film uh, as you see here I've almost filled up half of my book but yeah it's super dope to look through all of your negatives it's kind of like a contact sheet in a sense so I definitely and highly recommend you guys pick up some film archival sleeves once again I'm gonna drop some links in the description below for you guys to go ahead and purchase the ones that I use in this video Alright you guys, now we've made it to number six, the last and final accessory on the list. And I saved this one for the last one because it's particularly special and also I'm going to get you guys a killer deal on this stuff. So this accessory, I guess you could say, has probably been one of the most 
you know, asked about things on my channel. What is that? Dude, that looks sick. What is that thing on top of your camera called? Hey, what's that little wooden thing on your shutter button? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about this little piece right here. This is what we call a wooden soft shutter release button. Now it's called a soft release button because you can go ahead and shoot the camera by simply tapping on it. It kind of acts like a little block on top of the actual shutter button. Now these are really special because I get them from one particular company. I don't go out there and use anybody else's except this guy's company because they are absolutely amazing. The wooden button that you guys see on top of my cameras here are from a company called The More Gooder and he has an Instagram and also a website and the cool thing is I got you guys an extra 15% off on your first purchase. All you have to do is go over to The More Gooder, get what you want, get what you need and then at the checkout go to the promo code and enter in JAPES. J -V P E S and that will go ahead and save you 15% off on your order. Now I particularly asked him because I truly believe in his product and I've been using it now for over a year on across all my cameras. For God's sakes, let me show you guys ex the ones that I have. I got some pretty dope ones to show you. All right, we have the standard one here on my Voigtlander Bessa. And the cool thing about the more gooder is he'll use recycled woods and they'll be in different woods. Like I think this one is like redwood or is it for, for Hio or something like that. On my F3, I have a custom plywood skateboard wood on here. Uh, but what's really dope about it and unique is that it actually says, if you guys can see here, let me get that zoomed in. It says my name, King Japes, and that is amazing to me because it's personal, it's for myself, and you guys can get your own engravings on it by simply requesting it. I believe there's a little bit of an extra charge to it, but not much, and to be able to have a little piece, a custom piece that's for yourself, and it, you know, it represents you on your film camera, that is dope. It's almost like putting an extra sticker on a car, putting your own personalization. Uh, these shutter buttons absolutely not only look great on your camera, but they will also improve your performance out there you're not gonna miss your shutter button you're gonna know where it's at every time he also offers it in different shapes as well you have the concave which is dips down in so your finger can go ahead and rest inside of that piece of wood they have convex which is the opposite it's a u-shaped coming outwards some people prefer that and they also have flat and uh, pretty much these buttons will go ahead on any camera that has a threaded shutter release button so if your camera has one of these threaded shutter release buttons, you can go ahead and use it on there. If it doesn't, for example, my X700 that's on the wall over there, or like a Sony A7, if you don't have a threaded shutter button, there's an option for an adhesive button as well, which is just a little sticky part. You go ahead and just attach it onto your camera. It's that simple. It's that easy. The More Gooder has you covered. So folks, head onto his website. Be sure to use the promo code JAPES for an extra 15% off on your purchase and go ahead and enjoy folks i know i've kind of held back because this is such an amazing product and you know what i want to go ahead and just throw it out there for you guys because i truly believe in this product and you know what show him some love all right familial so that's going to wrap it up for today's video six must have accessories for film photographers and i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have any other suggestions on accessories we should pick up or maybe try out it's always good to hear that stuff you know a lot of this stuff has been recommended to me by you guys the viewers of the videos that's gonna wrap it up i hope you guys enjoyed this video truly i know it's been a while but thank you folks for sticking around and honestly you guys are the best people out here man and as always what do we wrap it up with bow wow bow What's that back there? Minota game, baby. Blah!